This is Community Connection, putting you in touch with what's happening within the community and on our campus. Here's your host. Welcome to this edition of Community Connection. My name is Rob Thomas, I'm your host. Christopher Secord is a student here at Owens Community College and a student who is engaged, especially when it comes to voter engagement. Tell us about that, you are an ambassador. What does that mean? Yeah, so essentially I just um, talk to people in a nonpartisan way about how to get involved in participating in our democracy. When you talk about a nonpartisan way, what does that mean? Because there are so many mm -hmm. issues that we face today, especially with the election coming up November 2nd. What are some things that you share to engage students on the Owens Community College campus here in the Toledo area? So, you know, I just try not to force any of my biases, you know, and I'll ask like some questions to the students about what issues they support the most. Like for instance, infrastructure, um, it's deteriorating. And last time we had significant uh, investments into it was in the 1940s through like the FDR New Deal, right? So I would tell them that, you know, if you want to change that, you can register to vote and participate in the upcoming city council election on November 2nd. Over the uh, past few months, what are some of the issues that you find resonate with our Owens Community College students? Um, I would say raising the minimum wage, healthcare, infrastructure, and then I would say uh, criminal justice reform. When it comes to uh, engaging those students, uh, it's, it's all about being able to vote and being able to have your voice heard. What have, what have you heard from those students and, and how have they responded when you approach them? Um, often they're not aware of how to register to vote because at my high school there wasn't a lot of outlets for that and right now, you know, we don't have a lot of information on it besides for the actual voter engagement organization. There's a website that people can go to if they would like more information when it comes to voter engagement. What mm -hmm. is that website? Yeah, that is the group that we're affiliated with and that will be the Campus Vote Project. And uh, it's my understanding that there is a town hall that's coming up and you want to make sure that uh, our students are aware of that? Yeah, so it's Tuesday, October 26, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in College Hall 100. And essentially, I'll just have candidates who are running for the city council come and speak and then there will be a section at the end where the students can ask questions. Uh, what was the impetus for having the, uh, the town hall? You know, I looked at the percentage of voters from the primary, and it was 7% in a highly populated city up to Toledo. I'm just, I just realized that there is enough awareness, so I just want to try my best to increase it and engage younger people in participating in our democracy. So you are engaged in, and certainly stepping up to do your part to, to create that awareness for others and to get others to engage in the voting process. It's an important, I, I don't always think that uh, even older adults realize the importance of voting. When you take a look and see what the turnout when it comes to uh, actual people coming to the polls and voting with it being as low, uh, how do we get people engaged? It's just about connecting them with issues that they care about the most and using that to compel them to participate, really. Because compared to other countries, our voting turnout is very minuscule. It's like 50%. So let's talk about, again, the date for the uh, town hall and if people would like to come to it. Okay, so that will be Tuesday, October 26th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Do we know who the candidates are that will be at the town hall? Uh, we have a few. I know that Katie Moline will be, the, be there, uh, Cassandra McPherson, Tony Dia, and then there's a few other ones that are tentative at the moment. Well, I want to thank you for coming in to share that information with us on Community Connection and also the fact that you are engaged in reaching out to make sure others are engaged when it comes to voting. So thank you very much, Christopher. Thank you for being our guest. Thank you for having me. Christopher Secord has been our guest. I'm Rob Thomas. This has been Community Connection. If your group or organization would like to appear on Community Connection, message us from the Owens Community College Radio Facebook page. This has been Community Connection.